Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Double T Lofts. Uh, so today we're going to do just a quick update over the breeders here. And I'm having to open up the door because it is overcast and it's been raining all day. So it's pretty dark in here. Um, it's not too cold, but I'm still having the heat lamp in here just to ensure that um, the eggs, none of the eggs go bad. So we'll step in here and uh, let me move this real quick. So to start off here, this is my Gannis Jansen pair. So you can see that they don't have any eggs. I think in the last video I had already said, um, I took their eggs and put them under the pair down there on the bottom. And I did check them. All the eggs that are laid, I had checked um, other than this pair because they laid yesterday. But all the eggs like this pair, that top pair, and that bottom pair, they are all fertile. So we're doing good. Um, but I'm hoping that they go down on another set of eggs here soon. So I'm really looking forward to that pair. And... Uh, Right here underneath them is the pair that I wasn't going to let them raise their first round, but none of these other pairs laid during the same time. So this is my Gannis Jansen. Um, it's actually a baby from these two back in 21, I believe. And then this is a 23 hen. And she actually surprisingly laid her first two eggs were fertile and everything. So um, that's good. And they'll be actually the first ones hatching. So... Um, sorry for the mess. I'm actually going to get in here this weekend and go ahead and clean everything. But uh, looking forward to that pair. And I think I've narrowed down to probably uh, three birds that I'm going to send to the one lofts this year. And I'm probably still going to stick with Quavis just because I can drive up there to it. But um, this here is my Beckert Jansen pair. Um, they still have yet to lay an egg. And it's been probably around two and a half or three weeks. So I'm hoping if I can get her to move a little bit here. See if I can get them to move over. She's getting a little puffy and uh, in the back there. And so I'm hoping that that means that she'll be laying here soon. But um, so there's not a whole lot going on with that pair. And like I had said, um, this pair down here is just going to be a pumper pair. And they laid their second round of eggs, actually. I had to throw out the first round because they didn't uh, match up with the pair above them. But uh, they're on their second round of eggs, and uh, they laid their first one yesterday, so I expect another one um, tonight or tomorrow. And uh, so I'm hoping actually that this pair will lay t tonight or tomorrow as well, and uh, I'll be able to float this these eggs in down to here to this pair. So this pair here is my Jansen cockbird here, along with a full sibling. Um, Gannis Jansen, full seven to the cockbird that was down there in that bottom one. And actually, she's she's a pretty nice bird. I was trying to get her to move there, but she didn't. But uh, both their eggs are fertile. And what I like about him is he's real protective of the nest, but he's also not super, super aggressive. Um, this cockbird's honestly growing on me some. Um, his characteristics are a little off from what I like, but... Um, other than that, they're, he's a pretty good bird. So I'm really looking forward to those those eggs. And those are actually their eggs. I didn't float them under anything. And then this pair down here is my Jansen Pied and my Robertson Family Resting Pigeon Hen. And they have my Gannis Jansen's, the one in the top cage down there. They have their eggs underneath them, and they're both fertile as well. So really looking forward to them. And um, so the season's kicking off pretty well. And everything's everything's going well so far. And um, I'll just go ahead and step in over here. There's not a whole lot going on. We did have a big freeze, as most of the country did. Um, even down here in Central Texas, we got a freeze. So, turns out, I don't know if I did a final update on these or not, but I remember a couple of videos back, I was talking about I flew some of these birds. Turns out only seven still came back. I didn't get any more back. So um, I have, this is one from 21, I believe. And then those top three or those four are 23s. Um, that bottom one there is a 23. And then this was actually one of the youngest birds. Um, the last round of birds that I had. And uh, so all of them stuck around and I still have a heat lamp set up on their water. And um, so when I clean the breeder's pens, I may get, a, get go ahead and get in here and clean these ones, but I don't know yet. But I know for, for sure as of now, um, 
there's not a whole lot going on over here. So uh, that's pretty well it. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below what else you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys next time.